just another beautiful day down in York, Pennsylvania for the ATHS truck show. Anyways, uh, I'm not gonna run down through all the trucks that came in overnight into this uh, morning and there's a backup line to get in. But what I've noticed is some wicked rides that let me get them on clips here and there. So just, I'll focus on those for today. Something badassery, something awesome. Something that I, that I myself have never seen before. Some of them I did, which are cool, but some of these rides I didn't. Let me get to this one first, here. Definitely three here, like one, two, three in the Peterbilt. One of a kind. Let me zoom out here. Yeah, hold on, I don't even know what, uh, yeah, that's a Ford. F800. What year, I have no idea. But I, just the whole setup. Everything is chromed out, nicely polished. Look at that car. Whew. That's a nice vet. It's a money machine right here. I love the beautiful colors, how it matches the truck with the vet. Oh yeah, that's a 1955 Ford F600, not F800. Mean headlights on this. And nice bumper, all black. And this Peterbilt needle nose matches the other guy as well. So I think it's it's the same owner. Look at them stacks on this bad boy. Bad boy for life. Yeah, but a nice towing tall machine I got a creep here underneath so I'm not gonna hit myself but yeah nice clean mean yeah seen those guys coming yesterday I'm not sure if he was loaded with something or not but yeah that's a 1971 Peterbilt 359 N from North Carolina Yeah, so by the looks of the color of it, just alone, same owner of these puppies here. The Ford and the Peterbilt needle nose. But this Pete, man, the cab over stretched out. That's got to be over 300 wheelbase club. The big crew cab in the back. I wish I could open up the door and see if it's finished, if it's finite inside. The spotlights in the back. We got here all lights to the sides, yep. Everything nicely clean, painted. Looks like a fresh job, too. Well, yeah, so this guy is also from North Carolina, so maybe all these three vehicles are from the same dude. God, he's got nice taste. I love them colors, too. I love the gray the, with the black, and I like this one, the light. That is nice, the stacks, looking large. Yeah, definitely looking nice, even this Peterbilt. I mean, you just go aisle to aisle and you'll find plenty of nice rigs to look around at. Look at this hot rod, Diamond T. On, to be honest, I don't even know what that is. Who makes them? Is it the Diamond T company? Yeah, I like how they lower it. That makes it just unique. Yeah, Diamond T 634, 1956. But check out this hot rod, Kenworth. That's a 1971, and it is for sale. 900A. I think it's a six speed. Ready for you to take over. You said it, it's a six speed? It's called a final ride. That's what I, it was used for to carry caskets. And now the guy's selling it.
he's asking 45,000 for it so I'll talk to the guy engine runs six speed like I said I think it's an 02 or an 06 of a shit I don't know if a Cummins or a Detroit I forget but uh it runs he said it's ready to go yeah and these are these rides are just keep on creeping in more and more so some people told me yesterday oh the turnout's not gonna be that good I mean I can't compare because I don't know I wasn't here eight years ago in 2015 where they had a truck show here but apparently according to Steve from large car magazine he said there was about 1500 trucks and yesterday yesterday was Thursday I don't know how many trucks they already had but it looked over 700 or 800 trucks massive turnout massive so you cannot say it's a low turnout how you doing chief looking mighty fresh And today was, today's early Friday morning. Now see, that's how I gotta start rolling in with my Peterbilt, hauling my trailer. But it's, it's all about money, baby. Even this broccoli looking large. Something about that old, old, old school. Once you tighten it up, make it nice looking good, you know? It's beautiful, beautiful piece of machinery. I just want to walk around and see what really stands out to me. I mean, I know some people like Dodges or what have you. I, I don't know, man, I just, I don't care what brand it is, as long as it looks unique, different, you know? For example, like these Mormons, you know? Not a lot of people know about these machines. I th I'm not sure. They have been built back in the days in Pennsylvania, manufacturers in Pennsylvania. I'm not sure. But there's plenty of them down here in PA. And I don't, they look, they, they look different. I like it. This one has been around. 1955 Kenworth conventional Marty Glob from Texas. Yeah, I seen it the first time, I believe, in Springfield, Illinois, at the ATHS show. The wood finish, beautiful. And it's, I assume that is definitely stretched out. Definitely not stock. Look at these two bad boys. Which one do you get a grip on? This one to cab over, or this Pete? Sitting mighty low. Nolt. Obviously, the 717 area boys. And it's not one of the Roland brothers. This is this guy is different. Different family. But they got all the same taste. Beautiful, beautiful trucks. And look at this cab all. Just stunning. And it's old, still old paint, but it looks beautiful. Yeah, just definitely old school. Nicely taken care of. Beautiful trucks. Beautiful. Yeah, if you've never been to ATHS before, I suggest that you do go in your local community. They do go every single year in a different place. So right now, I think they're in New York. I'm not sure next year. I believe they're gonna be somewhere in the next uh, West Coast. But it's definitely worth your time. If you know anything about trucks, or like anything about trucks, diesels, what have you. Um, you think it's old cranky trucks up in here? Some of them, yeah, no doubt they are. Like, I really don't have care of for them, but plenty of them, but just beautiful, outstanding. The owners, the history, the uh, the stories that they can tell you. I mean, look at, look at this all through. Look, this is just the back end of it. Where's my finger here? Just the back end, the beautiful trucks. I mean, the lineup is just sick. And this is the end. All the way out there, they got more beautiful trucks. Maybe I'll get there later on and get some clips on it. But yeah, if you have never been to ATHS before, man, it's, you should go. It's, it's worth it. Like I said, don't think it's old clunky trucks to only have been seen. No, it's beautiful hot rods and what have you. So 